Oh no! What are you gonna do? Parabolas, circles, ellipses, hyperbolas. Oh my! Got equations everywhere. What are you gonna do? Let's take a look at this one, man. Which one is that? The parabola is the one where only one variable is squared. Yes, this is a parabola. Okay, why? Because it's one of the variables is squared. Which way is it gonna open? It's gonna cup x. Which x? The positive x. It's gonna go like that, but not before it gets shifted up one. And right two. Oh. Down here, we need to put it in standard form. X's and Y's on one side. This is gonna be three X squared plus three Y squared is 12. Set it to one, divide. Finish him. Three divided by 12. This is gonna be X squared over four plus three divided by 12. Y squared over four. Yes, that's equal to one, fun. Are my denominators the same? Yes. Do I have a sum? Yes. Are both variables squared? Yes. Which one is that? The circle's the one. Both variables are squared. There's a sum, and then both the denominators are the same. It's a circle. Yes. Whose center? Is it the origin? Whose radius is two? Ooh, bam, 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 bam. Nice. And a flower. I'm down here. I need to put it in standard form. Is it equal to one? No. Divide by 16. Divide by 16. Divide by 16. Okay. Now, what do we have here? We have x squared over 16, which is 4 squared. Yes. 16 minus y squared over 4. Sure, that's equal to 1. It's in standard form. Are both variables the squared? Yes. Um, do the, are the denominators different? Yes. Is there a minus sign in between them? Yes. Which one is that? The hyperbola is the one where both variables are squared and the denominators are different and there's a minus sign between them. And you determine which way it opens by which variable has the minus. Okay, it is a hyperbola. Uh-huh, centered at the origin. Ready, 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 move it, move it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, yes, box it up. Connect the diagonals. That has the minus sign, it moves away from Y. On up to this next one. Is it in standard form? Yes. Is it equal to one? Uh-huh. Are both variables squared? Okay. Are the denominators different? Yes. What's the sign in between them? Plus? Which one is that? The ellipse is the one where both the variables are squared and the denominators are different and there's a sum. Yes. It is an ellipse who has been shifted. Shifty. Okay. To the right one two up ooh, down one there's your center from that center you need to go right one two uh-huh left two uh-huh then you need to go up three one two three yes down three one two three from that point and there's your ellipse now I'm down here. This one is really in disguise. Uh-huh. Oh boy, put it in standard form. Complete that square. Yes. X, don't touch it. Leave it alone. Plus Y squared minus six Y is seven. Okay, so I take half the middle coefficient squared and add that to both sides. Half of six is three. Square it, nine, fine. Okay, yes, then complete that square. It's always half the middle coefficient. So this is y minus three t squared. Yes, 
squared. That's equal to, ah, uh, oh, it's nice. 16, yes, plus x squared. Uh-huh, okay, get it in standard form. Or, it is in standard form for a circle. Uh-huh, and if we were to graph it, graph it, right here. It's a circle shifted up. One, two, three, there's its center. What's its radius? Four, so I go four in every direction. I go four here, four here, four here, four here, uh-huh. And then 